What is DICOM? Let's take a moment to understand the imaging standard used in healthcare. The DICOM standard. Meet Dr. Nugget. Dr. Nugget works at Bearcat Mountain Hospital. Wait, what? Dr. Nugget is a radiologist. His job is to interpret medical images for his patients. He will need to view a variety of images, such as x-rays, CAT scans, and MRIs. Now, let's take a closer look at how this can be accomplished using DICOM. Let's do this by watching Dr. Nugget as he goes through a day in his life. Well, after coffee, of course. Dr. Nugget checks the electronic medical record system. For now, let's just think of the EMR as a way to track and record patient data. Dr. Nugget receives two orders for a patient. One order is an x-ray of the chest. The other order is an ultrasound of the heart. The radiology system within the EMR indicates that the patient is actually scheduled for today. When the patient arrives, he'll be able to check in at the front desk. Once checked in by the front desk, the radiology information system is now updated with the new status of the patient. Patient's here! This informs the clinical staff that the patient is ready to undergo his procedures. The chest x-ray. The patient undergoes the chest x-ray. This diagnostic procedure shoots radioactive light through the body to acquire data. This radioactive form of light is called an x-ray. As the x-rays pass through the body, static grayscale images are acquired. These images are typically two-dimensional and high resolution. The x-ray technologist will now check that he's acquired all the required images and ensure the quality of each image before he sends our patient off to the next procedure. Patient's ready! Now our patient is ready for his next procedure. The sonogram, also known as the ultrasound. The patient undergoes the ultrasound procedure. This diagnostic procedure uses sound to acquire data. Sound waves bounce off the patient's organs to acquire images. These images can be viewed in color, still image, or movie format. All right, what a long day. So it looks like our patient's done. And now both the x-ray and the ultrasounds are ready to be sent to Dr. Nugget. Hmm, but can that be done? Both these images are so different. Okay, quick recap here. We've got two types of images. First we've got x-rays, then we've got ultrasounds. As we stated before, the x-rays are generated by using radioactive light to acquire these images. And the images themselves are typically monochromatic, two-dimensional images. So, in contrast, the ultrasound uses sound instead of light to acquire the images. Bum, 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 bum. Instead of your black and white images, with ultrasounds, we can see that we have videos and images in color. To add more variety to the mix, these devices could be manufactured by different vendors. Regardless, Dr. Nugget needs to view both image types on one computer. Ultimately, these images need to function in a universal format.
That's where DICOM comes in. DICOM stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. DICOM is a standard that defines how to query, retrieve, display, store, transmit, and print images. Uh, can we get back to the story? So how does DICOM help us? Well, when the ultrasound images are captured and generated, they're stored in DICOM format. When the x-ray images are captured, then generated, they too are stored in DICOM format. DICOM Store ensures all images are stored in a standard format, regardless of who the manufacturer is. Because we're using a universal standard to store the images, we can also transfer the images using the same standard. The images can be transferred to a picture archive and communication system, otherwise known as PACS. From this pack storage, Dr. Nugget can access these images onto his computer. If he wants, he can even view these images side by side. By utilizing a PAX viewer or a DICOM viewer, Dr. Nugget will carefully interpret these images. At this point, the images look normal, so Dr. Nugget creates a final report for his patient. By utilizing the DICOM print function, Dr. Nugget can print a copy of the images. He can also burn the images onto a CD. Finally, to complete the workflow, our radiologist can discuss his findings with his patient. We've gone through an entire workflow to see how DICOM is integral in every step of the way. Good job, Doc. Now only 230 scans left to read. Wow, we've learned a lot here. We talked about workflows, orders, modalities, EMRs, and packs. So let's just do a quick recap. In our story, DICOM allowed us to store, transmit, view, and print images using a universal standard. We talked about DICOM store, when our modality stored the images to the PAX archive. We talked about DICOM viewing, when Dr. Nugget uses PAX viewer to look at the images. Finally, we talked about DICOM print, when Dr. Nugget prints it out as x-ray to review with his patients. So, as you can see, thanks to the universal DICOM standard, we can perform these functions regardless of the modality or the vendor. Please like and subscribe to this channel to learn more. In the upcoming videos, we'll talk about imaging and healthcare IT as a whole. We'll talk about PACs, radiology, VNAs, and HL7. We'll also do a deep dive into DICOM. We'll talk about specific operations such as query retrieve, C finds, C moves, and web services. We'll also learn about the clinical aspect of each modality. For example, we'll talk about nuclear medicine, radiation physics, and the effects of ionizing radiation. We'll discuss other methods of imaging, including magnetic resonance imaging, ultrasound, and photographic images taken from a regular camera. For our planned releases, you can expect to see more videos about healthcare IT for beginners. But as we create more content, we'll dig into the more advanced topics. Whether you're interested in learning how to advance your career in the industry, or if you're looking to break into the field, stay tuned for a course outline on this channel. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos to come.
speak A E.